let's take a look at the Neetac ZX20. We'll do a quick unboxing, see what you get in the box, and do a speed test on Windows and on Mac. See if it's worth your time and your money. I tested the speed of the Neetac ZX20 on the MacBook first and it achieved speeds of around 900 megabytes to 1000, maybe just over, uh, which was more than enough for me. Uh, that, that's plenty to do for, well, more than enough for, for anybody really. When I came to testing it on Windows, the motherboard that I've got is a B650EI by ASRock and it has a 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 USB-C port on the motherboard. When I tried that, it wouldn't work. Um, and all it was, so there's just a little tip for anybody, it was the driver. So if you're having problems with the port, don't necessarily think that your motherboard's uh, broken. Uh, update your drivers, and if you look here, it may, like me, solve your problem. Uh, the speeds when I was using that port was over 2,000 megabytes per second, and using the front port of the PC, which is connected over 3.2 .2 Gen 2 single speed, that was over 1,000 megabytes. So a really good performance from the Neetac ZX20. The Neetac ZX20 is a 3.2 Gen 2 times 2 portable SSD. Uh, it goes on Amazon for anything from £90 to £123 that I've seen. Uh, this that's for the two terabyte version that I've got here. If you can find it for around ninety pound, I'd say it's an absolute bargain. Um, the Gen two by two means that you can get speeds of over two thousand megabytes per second, which on a Windows machine uh, or any machine that's capable of providing that um, via the ports that you've got uh, is it, brilliant. You can get over two thousand megabytes. If you've got a MacBook. I've got an M3 Air that I've tested this on and they only support single speed Gen uh, 3.2. So if you're using it with a Mac, I'd say not to bother um, buying this unless it's a bargain because you, you might as well just buy a 3.2 uh, by one uh, speed portable SSD and save some money because you're not going to get the benefit of that extra speed. So let's take a closer look at this little SSD now. It's it looks small when you're looking on Amazon, but when it's in your hand, it's smaller than what I expected. Uh, it's about 40, 43, 44 millimeters wide and 71 millimeters long. And it's only, what's that? 
about seven millimeters deep so it's a tiny portable SSD another option you could consider which is cheaper that I also have is a crucial x6 this is also two terabytes this is only a 3.2 gen 2 single speed and it's very similar in size uh, this one is 64 by 68 millimeters uh, widths negli negligible again about seven or eight something like that and this as you'll see on the screen can supply about 800 and odd megabytes of read and write speed which is more than enough especially if you're if you're editing and if you're only using it for storage uh, for such as media text files word excel that sort of thing anything's going to be fast enough so see what uh, what you can get older for what price uh, but if you're using a mac i certainly wouldn't prioritize this one over the crucial um, because you're not going to get the benefit of the extra speed the cable that comes with the X6 is a little bit shorter than on the ZX20. They're both about the similar thickness, both about as sturdy as each other. Um, there's a little bit extra long length on the ZX20, which might be handy if you need it. Um, the, the Crucial only comes with the USB-C to USB-C, whereas the ZX20 comes with a USB-C to C and the extra USB-A to see, so that's handy to have. I really like this one. If you can find it on offer, pick it up.